What's up everybody? I'm your astrology guy. Let's learn about Scorpio. In other videos, we'll go into Scorpios and relationships and compatibility and dealing with the Scorpio. But in this video, I want to focus on empowering a Scorpio so they can understand their positive traits, magnify those, and understand their negative traits and diminish those. Okay, Scorpio. Scorpio is the eighth sign of the zodiac. The dates of Scorpio are October 23rd to November 21st. Scorpio takes place when we are fixed within the season of fall. So Scorpio is a fixed sign. We know the fixed signs would prefer to perfect or finish something as opposed to be the one starting or leading it. Any fixed sign is going to be pretty stubborn. Scorpio is a water sign, so it is intuitive and emotional. Scorpio is the second phase of water. So it's the teenage version of this element. Teenager signs are independent, adventurous, excited by intellectual growth. They have a hard time with criticism and can be rebellious. Side note about Scorpios. We all know when anybody hears the word Scorpio, reaction is, ooh, Scorpio, because they think sex or they think revenge. The thing is, because it's the second phase of experience the world through an emotional lens, they realize that they can use sex as power. So they're learning to kind of harness that power and balance that energy. When it comes to the revenge situation, it's kind of the same thing. When they get hurt, that they just don't want to sit in their hurt. They're looking for a way to kind of release that pain. And for them, during this stage, revenge is kind of that solution. Scorpio. I know, I know. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. But you do know that murder is a felony, right? You don't want to be walking around in an orange jumpsuit singing. Okay. Scorpio's positive traits: passionate, imaginative, magnetic, and persistent. Scorpio's negative traits: secretive, vengeful, judgmental, and unforgiving. Scorpios, your biggest fear is being vulnerable. That's where the whole secretive thing comes in. It's all about you not putting all your cards on the table, so to speak. But the thing is, is that if you want someone to feel close, if you want to give them the opportunity to get to know who you really are, to see the true you, you have to open up. You can't always keep that little Scorpio closet filled with all those secrets away from everybody. Otherwise, no one will get to know you. And Scorpios, we want to get to know you. You're going to have to open up. You're going to have to break down some of those walls so that way someone can see the vulnerable side of you because that actually helps them feel closer to you. When they don't see those vulnerabilities, they're not seeing who you really are and they're always feeling some level of disconnect. Whatever you do, don't lie to a Scorpio. They're going to find out. They'll probably get revenge. And honestly, even though they say they forgive you, they truly are the ones that never forget. So just keep it real. A Scorpio will respect you more. And if you have a Scorpio's respect, then you have a Scorpio's power behind you. They have a lot of power, but they only support someone that they respect. So that's Scorpios. Sexual, yes. Secretive, yes. But also extremely passionate when it comes to things that they really care about. And also very imaginative and inventive. So Scorpio is a great person to have on your side. If you want more information about Scorpios, subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more information about compatibility with Scorpios and the other astrological signs. Thanks for watching.